The ability to add movement to your Canva designs have expanded. In this video, I want to do a deep dive into animations inside of Canva. Without further ado, let's hop in. Tell a story with your unique animation style. Whether you want the elements to zigzag across the screen, rotate, speed up, or slow down, it's easy to animate your own path and make your elements move. If you would like access to a free 45-day trial of Canva Pro, feel free to utilize my link, lashondabrown.com slash Canva45. The simplest way to get started with animations inside of Canva is to add them as an element. To do that, we'll locate the Elements tab on the top left-hand corner, and in the search bar, we'll type what we are looking for. So in this case, I'm going to put confetti. Now, if you click on See All, you'll see graphics and you can see some of the graphics are moving and others are not. If you want to sort the graphics inside of the Elements tab, all you need to do is click on the sliders in the top right-hand corner and under Animation, select Animated. Once you select animations, it's going to filter your results, but you'll notice something really unique about some of these animations. If I click on this particular graphic, it looks fantastic, but you notice here, I can't change the way that this animation appears. However, if I were to click here on this animation, you're going to see options to change the colors appear up here. The reason why is these are Lotties. Lotties are animated vector files that allow you to customize the animation with your brand colors or colors of your choice. So you can definitely access them from the Elements tab. However, you can also find them under Apps. So if we click on Apps here and in the top left-hand corner, we type in Lottie Files and then select Lottie Files here. This will filter through the results and show us tons of Lotties. So we can change it from feature to popular to recent, or we can type in the search bar for more Lottie files. So again, if we type in confetti, then select the design that best fits your needs. And then you'll want to select this little drop down here. From there, you can select one of the preset palettes that they have available to change the color scheme of the Lottie, or you can create a new palette with your brand colors and apply it to the design. So that's another way that you can add in some animations to your designs. Another way that you can add animation to a Canva design is by animating the elements themselves. So in this particular design for Trivia Night, you can see all of the letters are separate elements, so I'm able to make them move by themselves if I would like. So I'm going to select the N, and you can see here at the top, next to the border style, there is an animation. So I can select that and I can decide to add a basic animation, I can exaggerate it, I can add photo movement, and I can add motion effects. So if I were to leave the N selected, I could add a little wiggle just for the in itself. If I wanted to make it flicker, I could do that as well. Now, what you're noticing is the entire page is actually animated at the moment because page animations have been applied. So page animations is located at the top. When you select that, everything on the page will be impacted by what you select. So you could add a combination here where you have some simple animations, make it sleek, fun, party, corporate, chill. So all of these are fantastic and it's a great way to make something super fun as an intro for a YouTube video or maybe even a promo for an event. But there's one more thing I want to show you and we're going to utilize this template to make it happen. The last option I wanna show you is the ability to draw your animation path for your elements. If we were to select trivia here, we're going to click on burst at the top and we want to create an animation from scratch. So all I need to do is hold down the shift key on my keyboard while I am drawing the path for trivia. When I release the shift key on my keyboard, that will end the path and show Canva exactly where I want this text to go. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to drag it to the left. Then we're going to drag it down. We're going to drag it here, drag it up and drag it back. And you'll see here, it's going to follow the path that I drew within the create an animation option. So like I said, you can utilize the built in animations. You can draw a path for your elements. You can select animated objects from the elements tab, and you can even customize them with the addition of Lottie files. So the next time that you create something inside of Canva and you want to level it up just a little bit, consider adding animations to your designs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to check out my Canva playlist for more videos about how to enhance your Canva designs. Until next time, ta-ta for now.